Hello everyone, Martin here, back with another Legacy video, playing Doomsday. Um, I am continuing my endeavor into learning how to play this list uh, more correctly. The um, but, but for now, I think I'm I'm alternating between calling the Mark Tobias list and just four-color sort of Doomsday ring. Uh, need, need a good name, but haven't found one yet. But yeah, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this list, and I'm having some pretty uplifting results, I think, uh, without going wanting to go too crazy. Um, my latest tweak has been to cut the Flusterstorm and add a Thoughtseize instead. So I feel like Thoughtseize is more universally applicable. Like, there are several matchups where Thoughtseize, where, sorry, Flusterstorm is is just dead, like versus uh, Stompy decks uh, in particular. Um, but then there's also stuff like, uh, I don't know, like Death and Taxes or, or even stuff like Cradle Control where, yeah, yeah you, you you might get lucky and point it at a Green Sun Zenith but, uh, or a Thoughtseize post board, but it's it doesn't have a lot of great targets. And I, I did find every now and again that there were situations where having like having the ability to put a Thoughtseize into the pile would have been something I would like to do. Um, it, it's sort of niche because a lot of the time with this list, you can sort of build scenarios where you're going to draw a bunch of cards and you can just like draw into counter spells or, or even to fairy to beat stuff like endurance. But then there are like very, very niche things like um, the nimble obstructionist and stuff like that, that you, that is like a cycling ability uh, or a channel effect where you actually want the Thoughtseize. Uh, and, and it's just, it's a nice all-around card, um, you know, just a, a, as a blanket statement. I think this, the, there there aren't that many, like, decks that Thoughtseize doesn't have relevant texts against. So I think that's probably it. Um, yeah, I cut, uh, I uh, I think I did that for the last, uh, my last go around with this video, but but I'm, like right now I'm, I'm playing without a pernicious deed, which I'm a little bit sad about, but I don't see that much painter or aid cast, and I think we still have like pretty decent answers uh, to bring in versus those decks. My one of Beseju covers um, the, the blue uh, Leyline Beanstalk decks and just random like uh, like artifact and enchantment hate cards from Stompy decks. All right, let's go play League. All right, uh, round one on the play against Easy Money Marksman, which which, uh, which is a MTGO grinder that I think mostly plays like um, like Delver decks or Tempo decks at least. I'm gonna keep this hand. It's sort of a bit a bit speculative. Um, and opponent goes to six cards. Um, all right, well we're on the play. I think I'm gonna. I am going to Tropical Island here. In case they go, like, Thoughtseize, I want to be able to Veil plus Days. And if nothing else happens, uh, nothing scary. Oh, it is Delver. Um, sure, okay. So, Underground Sea Delver. This could be Grixis Delver. And the Bobble sort of makes me think it probably is. Or it could be, like, a Demir Scam, some sort of tempo strategy. All right, let's see if this... Gets us a land, we don't want that. So we draw second days. Not looking too hot here. We kind of need Brainstorm to fix this hand. And the Consider gives it away that we're Doomsday. Um, aren't really any other decks in the format that play this, this card. If I draw something like the One Ring here, I'm definitely playing Edge of Autumn. Just a mana ramp. I thought I draw my basic land. Get fucked. Ugh. Yeah, not looking, uh, not looking too good here. We need, like I said, we need brainstorm basically. Um, okay, so they're bobbling themselves to, to increase the chance of, of flipping Delver, and we'll see how they stack these triggers. Um, Bobble goes first. That means they didn't find a spell that would flip Delver. Let's see if it, there was one, two cards down, or like one extra card down. There was. Oh, and it's a brainstorm. The card I want, wasteland. Okay. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna float blue to to sort of put the set, take them off the scent of veil and I'm gonna cycle edge of autumn. Ooh, and there's brainstorm. How about that? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna brainstorm here. Um, that's not that's not great. I'm gonna put away a tundra and one veil of summer. 
and then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna fetch Bayou here, and then I'm gonna cycle the uh, the Lauren revealed, and get a volcanic island, and then hope to draw some business. The business, but no. All right, well. These two dazes plus this veil can hopefully hold down the fort in in terms of like not having like them not not getting to resolve in Orcish Bowmasters. Um, another wasteland here would be kind of bad. Yeah, okay, so it is Grixis. I think my best draw now is the One Ring. Let's see if they can follow it up with another threat. No, they don't. Force of Will, not exactly what the Doctor ordered. I'm gonna not play out the Tundra. Oh wait, there's a Tundra in my graveyard. Yeah. Um, I guess they already saw one. I, I was just gonna say, um, no, no need to put them on the scent. Uh, but yeah, okay. We still have some live draws here, uh, but it's like Teferi and the One Ring now are are kind of what I want. Or we could just keep drawing lands. I think Lauren revealed now. I'm gonna cast it with Dark Ritual if I were to draw that. We're we're going. We're at a point now where we can't Doomsday and pass because of uh, the Delver is gonna kill us, and it's not unreasonable to expect them to have a lightning bolt okay so we do draw to fairy i'm gonna play this out on wizard and then i'm gonna play to fairy and try to get to resolve him and i will fight with veil vale of summer here before force of will i think another brainstorm okay well now we could just daze the thing though is if i if i spew my veil vale here and um Okay, Terry's just in, so yeah, I am gonna I'm just gonna bounce Delver here, get some pressure off. And I think I'm gonna save Brainstorm for next turn. And then I'm gonna I probably will force of will a lightning bolt on Teferi. Although I'm not sure. Okay. This is uh okay, preordain, sure. Interesting. Um maybe they're gonna play Murktide here, right into days. I kind of dig that. They go top, top. DRC. Is this a force? So if I force DRC, then I can daze uh, the Delver, and then they don't have a threat. I think I kind of like that, actually. It does put me in double bolt range. Here comes Delver. Oh, this guy instead, yeah. So I'm going to daze... Uh, puts a car a land into our hand that we can brainstorm away. I could Veil of Summer here just because I really want to win this game next turn kind of thing. To just a cycle. Um, but let's say I don't win this game next turn and then they bolt to Fairy. Then I'm, I'm going to wish I had the, the Veil. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep the Veil rather than just get the cycle. Alright, let's plus to Fairy. And... Um, and let's cast Brainstorm off of Tundra. I would... Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put away, I think, Thoughtseize and Second Dark Ritual. And I'm gonna pass and probably, like, cast Doomsday on their next turn, on their next end step. Kind of depends whether or not they bolt to fairy, and if they have double bolt here, they just kill us. So it then doesn't matter then. And I don't think anything would have changed. There's brainstorm. Okay. Well, I suppose now what we could do with uh, them having cast a blue spell here, if they do have double bolt, we can cast doomsday at instant speed, and then veil of summer to draw into force of will, and then force of will the bolt. Well, let's see. There's a Murktide. Yep. And this is what Delver the last card. Yeah. All right. So I just I Doomsday end of turn and untap and win. It's pretty neat. We could even cycle the Veil to draw the first card if we want to. Okay, they concede. Coolio, let's uh, let's execute the board plan here. So these twelve cards come in. And uh, let's see. These 12 come out, but let me just see which 12 it'll end up being. All the cyclers, all the artifact mana, at least two copies of Doomsday. That still leaves us with two cards to cut. Um, yeah, they're a Lightning Bolt, Pyroblast deck, 
but I do like Teferi. So I think I'm going to go like this. I'll keep two Teferi, one Doomsday, one Thassa. I don't know at which point you, you start thinking about cutting Dark Rituals, but we still have both two Shouldered and three the One Ring. Okay, this is a promising hand. Okay, Stalactite thingy. Um, so, do we play into Wasteland or not? We have access to two more lands. I guess I don't hate um, Thought Seizing here. Days Force Force. So I think I'm going to take the Days, actually. Yeah. I think Days does the most sort of damage for us here. Of course, it's a problem. Here comes Bowmasters, I guess. Yeah, so it's a problem for us that um, we have we we uh, play we fetch the way we did because now we can't like plow with uh, veil backup. So we're gonna have to wait a turn uh, unless I draw like uh, card of flowers would be a very good draw here. Ooh, double dark ritual is also pretty nice. Actually, yeah. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna double dark rit the one ring out and then I can protect with uh with veil or I can um or slash and I can cycle the lore and reveal with the floating mana. They might even let this resolve. Um I think we get trop here. I think blue might be more important. I don't know. I think maybe I should have gotten by you because I'm about to get a second blue uh land with uh Oh, okay. There's a carpet. Ah, oh, that's really big. Okay, so we are going to have, like, a, a need for some more removal. Okay, ring is in, and we gain indestructible, or whatever, um, hexproof. I wonder if I'm supposed to draw now. Basically, this means the army is going to be a 3-3. Three, three. But I get another card. I think I, I do draw. Oh, Bowmasters of my own. That's so interesting. Okay. Let's see. This is a, it's a counterbalance. Okay. Oh, that's a little bit scary because we are relying on one drops right now. Let's, uh, oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to play into it. They don't know the top of their deck. And if it's one drop, then... That's really good for them. It is. Oh, fuck. Well, at least we get to kill the Bowmasters and draw some cards. Unless they're sitting on exactly days. In which case, goddamn. No! <laughs> oh, the humanity. That was their draw. Oh, that's so gross. Okay, I think I, I lose now. Um, they're going to get to set up their counterbalance. And we, we really need this plow to, to resolve. Oh, imagine if I go the other way around, which I was considering. Um, okay, so the preordain, I wonder what they prioritize here. They go top, top, okay. So they drew one of those and now I take five, I'm at eight and I take one more. I think I have to try this. They probably have another one drop on top or they found a brainstorm or something. Oh, okay. Interesting. So resolved. Okay. I get to draw some cards, but my life total is super duper low. And I take four, go to three, then take two more, go to one. So I think we have just lost here. Um, I mean, we could try and keep playing, but yeah, I think the game is over. Wow. That's uh, That was intense. So I think I, I like having an extra copy of Doomsday on the play. Because, like, Dark Ritual Doomsday, make it resolve, still slaps here because we have Cavern of Souls. So maybe we cut another Teferi. Yeah, let's try that. This, uh, this hand is potentially amazing. We need, we need uh, Ponder to deliver a green land. And ideally just a lot of lands. Yeah, I'll take those. Let's go. Okay, they had the wasteland. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna I am gonna get by you here and play carpet. So if they have force plus another wasteland, we're sort of in the dirt here. But if this could resolve, it's obviously amazing. And if it doesn't resolve, we have then Dark Ritual and then Cavern of Souls uh, and, and we get to play Shouldred. Whereas if I'd gotten uh, Trop, that's not a line. 
Okay, no other wasteland. Okay, so please let this dark ritual resolve. And I even draw a force of will. Phyrexian. How do you like Phyrexians coming out of my cavern? And they just concede. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. I love that. Yeah, that was um, that was a really, really, really cool game. Um, or match. Uh, oh, that day is in game two, but we, we, uh, we managed to bounce back. All right, that's good. Off to winning start. On the, dr no, sorry, on the play. Uh, once again, for round number two. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is a mulligan. Um, I'll keep this. It's, uh, that's yeah, pretty, pretty exciting. Uh, or at least wholesome promise here. Gonna probably send away one of the fetch lands and then go underground sea thought seas is. Okay, let's see what we're up against. Oh, it's another, it's this deck again. Wow, okay. Um, I think we take the Force of Will, actually. So that means if we were to draw Doomsday, then we're just a couple of turns away from the same turn win. Um, and they have to now choose between a Wasteland and getting, like, a Clock going, but they go for the Wasteland. Draw another Dark Ritual. That's not so exciting. But that's what the Brainstorm's there for, right? Okay, Bulk and DRC. Two unknowns in their hand. Uh, let's uh, let's cast that brainstorm. I'd love to find Doomsday plus Days here, or something like that. Uh, but instead, do we just get rid of the Force of Will and then go for like a uh, Dark Ritual Lorien revealed next turn? Guess I don't actually hate that. Yeah, we'll see. It kind of plays into Days, but uh. Yeah, we'll see. I sh I guess if my plan was to to get the um to hit Doomsday, I should have kept the Edge of Autumn. All right, let's get a uh, let's get a, a Tundra. Uh, opponent has Bolt plus Lorien plus two unknowns. Oh uh, wow, that sucks. All right, let's see if what they drew was a Daze, which I would be kind of sad if 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 true. Okay, so. Yeah, let's uh, let's pass here. So I, I'm, they didn't draw Force of Will. That that would have been Force of Will any day of the week, and they didn't draw Days. So we can reasonably assume they're, the last two cards are neither Force or Days. I suppose it could be Force and then no blue card. But, um, but yeah, okay. So now they have a Brainstorm. There's the Volcanic, so they're Brainstorm locked. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, that's really not what the Doctor ordered. So I take... I'm at 12 here, which means if I Doomsday, I'm at 6. So if I do draw Doomsday now, I can still just win, even through the Bowmasters. Uh, yeah, what's the play here? I think it is Teferi, Bounce Bowmasters, Cast. Oh, but they have the Bolt as well, so I'm just super... Like, they, they yeah, they probably have this. But I think my play is to get rid of the Bowmasters. And I draw days. So is, is Brainstorm the play here? I think it's Ponder. Yeah, let's Ponder. They need two mana to redeploy the Bowmasters. If I were to be able to fi find a Doomsday here, then maybe maybe there's a play next turn. But yeah, that doesn't look likely. They can, So they can attack uh, to ferry down to death, me down to 10. Re play Bowmasters, I'm down to 9. I'm down to eight because the orc grows. Okay, let's see how willing they are to play into days here because they have underground sea. Oh, masters, okay. That means the bolt at least gets dazed here. Um, I'm, I'm clutching at straws here. I'm gonna take four, go to eight. Then I'll be at four post doomsday, which means I will be dead. And we don't find doomsday. Well, let's I ponder I'm down to seven. I mean, may as well ponder, right? There is a doomsday, but it won't matter, right? Is there some way I can get this to work? I'm at seven, so I'll be at three, which means, oh yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, yon. So I, I dark ritual doomsday off of underground sea. Then I brainstorm and I draw veil of summer and Bob's your uncle. We need them to to blow the the bolt, and I can't. Uh, uh, how does this pile work? Then 
Do I need to fetch first or can I fetch after? Um, let's see here. Dark. Let's say I don't fetch now, so I dark. Let Let's. Uh, do I do I need the fetch land at all? Let's say I let's say I don't have a fetch land right now. I dark ritual off sea doomsday. I cast brainstorm. Um, they bolt I daze, whatever. Then I draw. Uh, veil, plus. Um, LED plus psych plus like edge of autumn. I think I do need and want the fetch land. Uh, yeah, let's try this. I mean, they might have drawn a force of will, in which case it won't matter. They can also like if they bolt at the right time, like if you just hold on to the bolt, then it I won't be able to uh, to do anything about it. Okay, so let's see here. Veil of summer, edge of autumn, LED are the cards I want. Um. And a land to fetch. Uh, there's LED. Yeah, the problem is, aren't they just, like, if they didn't have Bowmasters, I'd actually feel a bit more comfortable that they would bolt in response to my Brainstorm. Um, so what are the other cards we want to hide? Or can we actually do anything here? I guess I, I needed the land, right? So it's one more card. Is there a way I end up with Force of Will in my hand? If they, if, like... They don't bolt. So let's see here. I cast Brainstorm now. I draw LED, Edge of Autumn, Veil of Summer. I put back, um, I guess, Days and Thassa. So I need them to, to bolt there so that I can Days and put back a land instead. Yeah, and then I don't think the the force matters, but I'm going to put it in the pile just to make them guess if they're looking through my, my exile zone. Okay, let's try this. Island, and then um, I guess force. This card we aren't going to draw. All right. Okay, they, oh, they're going for it. Please. Yes, okay. So lightning bolt. Um, I'm going to let uh, surveil happen here. And then I'm going to Daze. I know they they have an Underground Sea, right? Because that was the, the they made the player where they played their Tarn after cycling the Troll. Now they might have a Daze, which m might be a problem if they save it. If they Daze now, it's not a problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, actually, uh, you know what? The fetch land is an issue because... Um, if they daze, if they have exactly days after I then when I veil, I have to pay, and then that shuffles the deck. Am I gonna get gotten by days in the same league uh, twice that that bad? Maybe I could fetch now, but then if force of will is not exactly in my bottom card, then I lose. So I, I think I have to just hope it's not a days. Okay, so we put back. Um, I guess oh, there's so many things here. If they can cast a blue card, basically, then also the veil suddenly draws a card. And that means that matters where I then put the Thassa, but I, I, I can't afford uh, this. So I, I think I can't afford to play around that. So I think I'm going to put back Tundra and put back Thassa. Hope their last card isn't Daze. And I'm going to let them put all their triggers on the stack here. And I'm going to cast Veil of Summer. And please don't have Daze. Please and thank you. They did have Daze. Okay. All right. Well, so now we have to shuffle. Uh, and get the island. And then if there are going to be three cards left in the deck, and it's basically a, a, a two and three chance that we that we don't lose. Or is it the other way around? So, okay, basically, the Veil is going to draw a card, and that card cannot be Thassa, or we lose. Uh, the remaining cards in the deck... Well, I'm, let, let me just... Uh, let me just get the... Uh, I guess we get the Tundra that we just put back. So we have to pay for Veil, otherwise we're just dead to the, the Bowmasters. So that's sort of step number one. I'll pay. Now Veil is going to draw me a card because Days uh, was cast, and if it's Thassa, then we lose? It's not Thassa, okay. So now <laughs> there's a 50-50. All right, now there's basically a 50-50 shot that the top card is Thassa, or that the top card is Force of Will. And if it's Force of Will, we lose, and if it's not, we win. So let's uh, 
Let's see how we did. So crack for blue, cross our fingers, and it's force. Okay, GG's. Uh, that was close. That was very close. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't put... I suppose I could have put... Yeah, no, actually, if I thought this through, if I had put a, uh, like, a ponder, then, you know, I, I'm going to have three mana anyways. Then if this exact scenario plays out and the, the random card I draw off the... the Veil isn't the card that kills me, then, then I can win. Ah, oh, man, too bad. All right, all right. That was uh, that was interesting. Let's uh, let's we know exactly how we're gonna sideboard because that's what we did last game. Um, let's get rid of oops. Let's get rid of these uh, artifacts and the cyclers and three copies of Dooms. No, two copies of Doomsday. Seeing as we're on the play, uh, let's get rid of the consider. And I think that's it. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep this. Try and play a little bit of the one ring control here. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna um, play probably island here, and then end of turn cycle uh, Lauren revealed uh, for underground C. Now, would kind of be nice to have scrubland right now because we. Kind of, we we want dark uh, black mana, but but the second most important thing is is white mana for for our plows. Um, yeah, let's let's try this uh, again. Maybe this is a misplay. Like, imagine if I draw a second dark ritual and I had played tropical island, I could like ritual ritual ring and then have veil. That guy. And that guy gets to grow now already, so that's nice. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's go. And I don't know if I'm supposed to dismember him because I'm, I mean. If he attacks twice, he will have dealt me four damage, as things stand right now. I'd also really like for them not to have Wasteland here, pretty please. Okay, no Wasteland. Another Stalactite Stalker. I think I am just going to dismember here, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to play into a daze here, so I'm just going to pay the four life. Let's go. Unfortunately, that means we grow the other one, but hey, so be it. All right, let's uh let's dark ritual out this sucker and hope they don't they don't have force plus days because this is kind of what we have. This is our our time in the sun. So they did have force and they pitch a days. So let's hope they don't have a second days. Okay, sweet. That was really good. I'm gonna draw a card right now. Oh, shoulder it. That's nice. <clears throat> Shoulder plus ring is like basically GG's. Uh, okay, that's unfortunate. If they have, can follow this up with a Bowmasters, that's really bad. But okay, no Bowmasters. Carpet of Flowers now, I think, easily is my best draw. Uh, plow is not bad. Um, I think I'm going to plow this one, take some pressure off my life total. And then next turn, if they don't waste me again. Oh no, I, I need double black uh, for shoulder even. Well, we'll see. We can uh, get to a uh, a nice little um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Oh, double DRC. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Yeah, I was gonna say like a carpet. Carpet is like still the best draw we have. Second plow, I guess, is you know could be worse. Um, Okay, so I'm going to plow DRC, and I'm going to take set, take three, go to seven, take another three from the ring, go to four, and then fetch down a three, but we have bolt, and then shield rate gets online, we instantly draw four cards and gain eight life, so we can survive, that would uh, be kind of nice. We do have this force of will, so I am feeling a little bit, you know, optimistic here. Okay, we're at four. We draw this force. That's nice. We have double force now. Let's get, uh, I guess, Bayou. And then, say, Phyrexian. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to leave open the green in case I draw a, uh, the thing. All right, I'm, I'm going to wait until their upkeep to activate the ring. And then we just easily win next turn, I think. Three go to eight, take four go to four. 
Then we go up to six. Um, I do. I think there's some value in them seeing we're still a Doomsday deck. Um, so if I go just Dark Ritual Doomsday and then I draw the entire deck, oops, and I have double force, so I think they can't beat that because like we're, we'll be at three, so we can even like force twice and not die. Um, okay, let's uh, scrap Thassa. Let's hide the Bowmasters and the carpets. Yeah, let's let's do that. Order of the deck won't matter because we're drawing all five. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that's that feels very very naughty. Okay, so let's dress down. Pyroblast. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna force another pyroblast. Okay, I have another force. So if their last card is Flusterstorm, then we still win, I think. Oh, actually, I guess not, because they have two Pyroblasts on the stack. Okay, but it wasn't. All right, cool, cool. So now comes the difficult game three on the draw versus uh, the Tempo deck. But, um, but yeah, and I think maybe having the two copies of Doomsday is still fine. Like, all the Pyroblasts makes me kind of feel like uh, Teferi is just not that exciting um and maybe e this might be crazy but i think maybe even edge of autumn is better because it lets us mana ramp um and you, you know cycling when they when they wasteland you is not terrible okay let's see oh this is a fine hand god i love boring reveal in this deck let's uh so i think the like between this Delta and this Lauren Revealed, we need to get Tropical Island and Tundra. Oh, wait, no way. Do you actually have, like, just no play on turn two? Two open mana? That's so interesting. All right, let's, uh, let's reveal Lauren Tundra. This is where they, uh, they make their stand with the Orcish Bowmasters. So I think I'm, I'm okay, like, um, oh, my own Bowmasters. Um, I think I'm okay plowing here and then veiling a force, and then if if they have force plus days, then you know so be it. Um, we could do the same with bowmasters next turn, but it sort of plays into days in the same in the same manner. Let's uh, let's let's go like this and just pass. We have mob. Oh, they have. You know what? I am not. I'm simply just not capable of. Of resisting, especially since they didn't show us days or force plus days. Okay, so this dies. Do you have bolt then? Yeah. Okay, so you have bolt. No. That you have you have petty theft. How about veil? Then if they have days, they have days. We still have a veil, and we still just get to keep the bowmasters. Okay, I think that's a reasonable exchange for me. Honestly, they still lose their dude. I have bowmasters in my hand. And they just two for one themselves, pitching a brainstorm. I'm not hating where this is going. I think like uh, Merktide Regent is now what we have to be most concerned with. We have three more plows that can, you know, do something there, and it's only it's only going to be a five five. So like even like Children may. Okay, third brainstorm, right? That's it. That is correct, right? Yeah. Okay, no land drop. That's really interesting. Okay, I think I'm gonna I'm going to attack here, and then I'm gonna flash in. I'm gonna actually cast brainstorm right now. Um, no, I'm gonna cast bowmasters. Screw it, just to push the damage. Yeah, let's try this, and let's see what they can do now, because they could have cast uh, Merktide last turn. It would play into days. Oh, okay, interesting. Another C. Okay, I'm just gonna not do anything here. They can flash in the uh, the brazen borrower, but I think that can only block flyers, right? Yeah. So we don't care about that. I think I'm gonna pre pre combat. I'm gonna cast a brainstorm, and they have is this bowmasters? Hmm. Right. Okay. So bowmasters re resolves, and they're gonna target my bowmasters. Oh, hang on, hang on. 
I'm going to Veil of Summer that. I hope they don't have Force Blue card. If they have Force Blue card, I think I've just lost this game. And so... And now they have to target themselves with the first trigger. Or with a, that trigger from the Veil. And now we have three triggers happening here. Okay. So I'll put away a Dark Ritual and... I think, is it a fetch land? We can play out the cavern, and then we could, like, uh, Dark Ritual or and then cast Lorien, but I think no. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... I'm just going to go ham here, and I'm going to cast another Brainstorm because, like, I'm going to fetch, cast Brainstorm off of Tundra, right? And then if... if um, if I find Shouldred, but is that even that good now with what's on board? I think I need to kill this Bowmaster, right? Oh wait, they're targeting themselves. They should be targeting their their guy here. Okay, yikes! I almost passed through my turn. Um, so let's get, I guess, uh, Underground Sea. I've not made my land drop. Let's uh, let's just cast Brainstorm here. Ugh. That was was not great. Let's put away days and I think uh Lauren revealed. Yeah, okay. So they figured it out now. So I'm gonna get Tundra here and I'm gonna cast Ponder. Oh, geez, Louise. Shuffle those. Draw days anyway. I'm gonna cast second ponder. Yeah, I think I'm sort of this this game is just getting away from me. Okay, that was that was much more like it. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's draw the one ring, and let's pass here. The issue is I have to block, I have to get in front of this orc army, because uh, I don't want to take nine. And then, I guess next turn, I, I think I, I plow the, um, the nine nine, and then I have to, like, Dismember. Yeah, let's play this on Phyrexian. Just to get ahead of, of the curve. Uh, let's go like this. Please don't have Force of Will. They had Force of Will! No! Okay, alright. Well, I'm going to pass here. They're going to flash in the... Do I offer the trade here? I think I do, right? I don't think my Bowmasters is doing anything on defense here. Oh, if they're gonna take they're gonna get gain so much life. I'm just gonna plow this now. Not sure it really matters when I do it. Okay, so they're gonna beat me for four. I'm at eleven. I'm gonna dismember the bowmasters, and then it's it's not a very comfortable race, and any top deck of theirs could be potentially be like a, a creature. Like a Murktide is really, really big game here. Okay. Looks like they're at least just passing. Um, okay, I'm going to attack here. And I guess I do dismember the Bowmasters. It's just because, I mean, it's a much lower clock, but any any card draw is just really, oops, just really, um, really big. Wow, I felt super comfortable at one point, but then, like, I just didn't find what I needed in, like, a bunch of cantrips and stuff. Okay, I'm at eight. Please don't play anything relevant here. Oh no, they're doing stuff. Okay, DRC, which is has threshold or delirium. I mean, okay, ponder here. Let's see what ponder throws up. Oh, none of that, please. I guess we probably have lost. We need them to not really have anything here, and for our next draw step to be enormous. A bolt does it here, but I think if they had bolt, they would have just killed Bowmasters. Has to be like the One Ring or like Brainstorm into double removal. Uh, close, but no cigar. All right. GG's opponent. Okay, on the draw for round number two, I'm going to keep this hand. We have a Doomsday. We have some cantrips. We have protection in the, in the form of Veil. We are super dead to like a... Uh, Blood Moon, we are not exactly thrilled 
to be playing against Chalice, and we're obviously unprotected if our opponent has like a turn one win uh, in their locker. All right, opponent kept seven as well. Let's go. Oh, another volcanic island. Is this going to be triple? Wow, it is. Third tempo deck in a row. Hmm. It's interesting. Well, Teferi is a card. I kind of want uh, my blo my green spell to be, or my green bruising land to be by you here so that I can also maybe like cast Doomsday at some point. But I'm not sure. I think I'm going to be maybe fetching Underground C here and casting Consider on the end of our opponent's turn. So I wonder is if this is another Grixis deck or if it's going to be the the is a deck with the uh, with the one tropical. Okay, they mill a brainstorm that doesn't get them closer to delirium, so that's nice. So like, consider finding dark ritual here is probably the best we can. We can do. Problem with fetching Underground Sea here is that then Lorien Revealed can't get Bayou. So if we want green now through the Lorien Revealed, it has to be something that doesn't also cast Dark Ritual. But yeah, that's just the cost of doing business with this mana base. Okay, we can put Teferi number two away. Yeah, draw Ponder. I don't hate that. Um, oh, the One Ring. Hello. Okay, I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna ponder here, and then I'm gonna like Lauren revealed for probably Tropical Island. So third to fairy, another Doomsday and Cavern. I'm gonna shuffle, draw a second Veil. That's not, ah, uh, it's not ideal. Okay, well, end of turn, bolt me. Yeah, okay. Uh, story checks out. They know where. They probably know where Doomsday from the Consider. Uh, like I was saying earlier, but the uh, Wasteland. Okay. I think that's gonna... I'm gonna cycle the edge here. Uh, yeah, because I, I can't, like, if I, if I like, cy cycle Lord Revealed on my turn? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to cycle it now anyways. Yeah, spend the mana while the, the spending's good. Let's get uh, Underground C. They're still not delirious here. So we can count our blessings there. But we are sort of running a bit out of, uh, well, we're running a bit low on, on the clock here. Ooh, it looks like they're going to make a 6-6 Merc Tide. So that's a little bit scary. Okay, so they'll, they'll be attacking for 7 next turn. It's a 2-turn clock. Oh, yikes. Um, let's, let's play the Tropical here. I don't hate if they cast a Blue Spell next turn, just like cycling one of the, uh, one of the Veil of Summers. There's still a way we wiggle out of this. Um... And it is by, I think, finding, like, step one is finding Dark Ritual. And then step two is resolving the One Ring. Step three is finding another Dark Ritual and then just, like, untapping and winning. That that kind of thing. I suppose, like, a Lotus Petal here. Ooh, and they just got Delirious. Wow, I, f after not being able to do it for three turns, they just do it all in one turn. Wow, that's nice. Okay. So that just means we are, like, we went from being, you know, like, it's a bit unlikely to now it's, it feels, well, I mean, it's the same turn, it's the same amount of turns, but just, like, if we were to resolve the One Ring, it puts a lot of pressure on what we can do. Okay, so they have two cards in hand. Let's see, like, we have to hope that one of them isn't Lightning Bolt. All right, show us Dark Ritual, please. It's not Dark Ritual. And they know what we're drawing here. So, oh, I guess they, they knew about the Misty. Ugh. Well, let's, uh, let's play this to Fairy then. Right into all the interaction in the world. They have a Daze in the yard. Do they have a, another Daze in hand? Yep. All right. That means we're dead. We were probably dead anyways. We would have been attacked down to two, and then drawn a Tundra. Okay. Right on. Okay, so I didn't get to see if there was a third color here, so, but uh, it doesn't change the way I, I sideboard. Let's, uh, let's do this. Um, yeah, and we showed them Veil. 
which I guess, you know, showed them Bill, we showed them to Fairy. So if they're wise to to this build of Doomsday, then you know, they'll know what's what's coming, but uh but yeah, let's see. It never feels good losing game one uh, versus tempo. I still think, you know, if, if if I win game one, I feel relatively uh, confident that I'll be able to take one of the post sideboarded games. But to to take two is is a little bit of a of an ask. But we're certainly getting our money's worth of tempo matchups today, which is good. I mean, I like that. Okay, gonna keep. And I'm going to, so the, the, the decision here is whether or not to play into Wasteland. I think I'm going to, I th oh. the problem, no, okay, screw it. I am going to, I am going to be the coward here. Oh, God. Shuffle. Yeah. Well, we need to land. Toot sweet. And ponder, okay. That's always, you're almost exclusively always happy to see the tempo deck not deploy a threat on turn one. But I still don't know if I'm if I'm to be expecting Bowmasters or not here. Okay, they choose not to shuffle. Okay, please, a land. Please? Nope. All right. It's going to be like that, huh? I don't think there's anything I fight over here. Portent, okay. Happy they didn't portent me. Like, imagine if they port in me and see, like, land, not land, not land, and they just put the, the land uh, further uh, from the top. Seems like a pretty strong play. Come on, land. Yes. Okay. So, what's the play here? I think because we are sitting on exclusively four drops, I think the play is to just thought seize here and hope to draw another land. Uh, if they have, I mean, they probably have Wasteland, I don't know, but, like, I don't want to play into Days. Okay, they have the Wasteland, and they have Double Days. Hmm. Okay. Double Days. I honestly think, like, we probably have to take one of these Days, huh? Um, yeah, I mean, that, I think that is what this game is about now. Um, regrettable as that is. Good news is if we can resolve Shouldred. Oh, now they found a threat. Brutal. Yeah, yeah. That this is. We're gonna need to get lucky here. Uh, okay, so what happens here? I brainstorm. If they pyroblast, there's. I I can't believe they would. Uh, is there a world? Let's say I brainstorm. Do I just have to brainstorm here and, and sort of get it over with and then hope that they play misplay and and cast the Pyroblast? Because if they cast the Pyroblast, then I daze the Pyroblast, and then they daze, but at least I've gotten both daze and Pyroblast out of their hand. But if, if I brainstorm and they just daze, then my brainstorm is, has just been dazed. I think I'd actually rather do this on their turn, to be honest. Oh, hang on. That was actually pretty interesting. Okay. They bolt, huh? Well, I'm going to I'm going to brainstorm in response to that bolt. And they put a land in in the graveyard. So now they probably daze, but then I can daze back and like or I can even I can even force of will if I think that that's important enough. Okay, so DRC scries a force to the bottom. I think I actually force of will here because now they aren't sitting on a days anymore and I would rather like have my land drop to be able to resolve one of these four drops next turn. Oh, will you get the fuck out? Oh. Well, that just lost us the game, right? Unbelievable. Okay. So, let's um hmm. I'm going to actually force of will the lightning bolt save my two life. I think. So I'll be drawing two dead cards here. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. Like, imagine if they have, like, a Murktide or something coming up. No, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna take my medicine, take three damage instead of one. But, oh, that's so heartbreaking. Imagine if I hadn't fetched, like, a coward in game one. 
uh, not in game one, in, in, in the first turn. Well, okay, so at least it looks like we're getting away with this not, like, with with not having, um, them not having Delirium here. And I'm drawing my first of two, like, blanks. They might just Pyroblast here, actually, just to, to surveil and get the Delirium. Honestly, uh, or obviously, the, the cost of me not forcing that bolt is that now the Pyroblast is on. Okay, and now Dark Ritual. Somehow we're not, like actually dead right now we're we're at 10 and there's i don't know what's this is this like uh the, the druid thing here there's green mana this is uh seek the beast okay no ponder yikes they like what they saw on top and they choose not to shuffle okay okay four cards we know one is a pyroblast they started paying cost and then they didn't do anything wonder what that means. Okay. How about a land? No, I mean, why would why would I draw a land there? Um, I think probably I have to get rid of Is this seek the beast. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I can't I can't fight over that. They're going to Okay. What was that loyal? Wasteland and lightning bolt. So they they Okay, I am actually going to force that for sure. Wow, they still don't have um, Delirium. That's nuts. Okay. So now I guess I don't have to worry about what I'm discarding here. Alright, so like a, a black producing land um, actually casts both Shouldred and uh, Bowmasters, but I don't really... <laughs> I don't want to get my hopes up here. Land... Oh, I guess I should have been more specific, huh? What a jokester. Um, do I even play this out? Oh yeah, I mean, I guess, actually, what am I saying? Uh, I get to, I get to play the orc here. So, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it now. They're gonna know what's up since I named orc. Let's see if they can get, uh, threshold, or delirium, I mean. Okay, so they spew a daze the days they don't have just need to find a creature i'm not gonna obviously pay for uh for the orc for the days on the orc i mean okay do i get to kill this drc because they pyroblast now just to get another surveil to see if they can spike the creature i i mean i think that may probably possibly be correct okay maybe not all right that was interesting yep yep I'm Jack's complete lack of surprise of that wasteland activation. Okay, now if they were if they play uh, mystical or mystic sanctuary, yeah, and obviously I have to trade here, uh, not trade, chump with the the army. I mean, okay, land, not a land, pro possibly the worst card there. Is. <laughs> there was draw right there. Um, I don't have a blue card to pitch. Um, do I? I think I stay on defense here. Like if they if they like cast two sorceries, they're suddenly there. It's a four four. Another wasteland. Third fourth wasteland. Yikes. Um. Okay. I think I take the two here. Um. They, I know they can like do stuff at instant speed, but yeah. Oh my god. Well, now I think I have to. I have to jump. Or I'm dead to lightning bolt. No. Why would it be a land? Um, yeah, I guess I'll put Thassa's Oracle into the, in, into this card. I force, I'm at four, this is a three, three, and then they have the Pyroblast anyways, so it doesn't matter. All right, GG's. Round number four on the play. Let's see if we, we can rebound from this. Ugh, it's going to be a mulligan. Eh, yeah, let's keep this. Um, going to put away a... Misty Rainforest here. And then I'm going to fetch into Wasteland because I think I'm sort of coming around to thinking that we need to fetch into Wasteland if we want to use uh, protection in the shape of Veil of Summer primarily, but also like uh, like the Thoughtseize. Uh, I don't know. Do we take this? I think we... I think the Lorien Revealed is... 
not bad because it, it sort of negates a wasteland, kind of. So yeah, let's take this. Um, we draw the lore and revealed. I also don't hate like drawing a second Dark Ritual because if we find Doomsday with the One Ring... Ooh, Patchwork Automaton. Okay, so this is a Force of Will deck um, that may or may not be sitting on a Force of Will right now. Let's uh, let's get by you, and let's tr yeah force check them. There was a long pause. Okay, they had the force. Well, let's uh, street wraith. We could hit our own force or a daze here, uh, but we don't. Okay. And what was pitched? A thought cast. Okay. Another ancient tomb and no artifacts. Interesting. So what is in their hand if it's not artifacts? It could be more like thought casts, uh, thought monitor kind of things. Okay. Don't hate the Veil of Summer, I guess. Although, it makes, like, if they draw a chalice, it, it, that's worse for us. This has what? Or two. So I don't think Teferi is actually that good. I think I'm going to shuffle here. Doomsday, I like a lot. So I'm going to, I'm going to cycle Lorien Revealed. I think. Okay, so they found an artifact. So I think probably I... So this is one thing I really don't like about Magic Online as opposed to uh, Paper Magic. Because, so, if I choose to, which I'm going to, Cycle Lorem Revealed, I don't get, like on Magic Online, I, I just, I don't get to see what's on top of my deck. If this wasn't Paper, I would Cycle Lorem Re Revealed. And I would just pick up my deck, and then it would be legal for me to look at the top card of the deck as I'm going through my deck searching for a card. So I would know which card had been revealed to the Mistress Bobble. So that information is sort of impossible to get on Magic Online. So I don't know what they saw. Not certain it makes a difference, but um, it could. All right. Enough yapping here. So I'm going to get uh, Underground Sea, I think. Then we can fetch a Tundra. Or a Tropical Island as the last. Um, but let's just see here. I'm not sure that I can afford to Doomsday Pass. I'm not, I'm not sure. Like, I'll be at 6. And they have a 2-2 two -two right now. And they will have gotten like two fresh cards and if both of those are artifacts it's still fine for me but if one of them is like a mar like a lotus petal and then they cast a thought cast then it can get out of hand but i think it's probably still okay um all right i think i'm gonna i'm gonna fetch the the trop here and just cast uh the doomsday and hope that's that this is good enough so Thassa, and maybe consider, like, well, this gets stuffed if they draw, uh, uh, like, Chalice. But we also aren't going to have a lot of life to play with. We could also try and get cute and, like, play a the One Ring. Uh, how does that work? So, let's say they attack us. Let's say they grow this dude by two. They attack us down to two. Then we play the One Ring. We draw a card. We're at one. Once we untap, I mean, and then we, we like, draw Cavern and, and Thassa and everything. I don't hate that, actually, because I don't think I can really, like, let's say they Chalice us here, and then they, what, they also have Force? But just the Chalice alone, I think Chalice on one is going to mean I can't get, um, get to two cards in the deck reasonably in, in the one turn I have. So, yeah, let's try this. Guess the Cavern. Like we will be at one, so a day, uh, a force is not gonna is not gonna work. So if we draw the one ring, then that draws consider. Then we untap and draw edge, and then we tap two to draw consider plus cavern. So maybe we put a days in there. I don't know. All right, so let's put cavern. No days on the bottom. And cavern, then Thassa, then the one ring. Let's play a petal and pass. And if they can put four artifacts into play, then they win. I guess if they can put three into play, then they they may win. Okay, that doesn't cast any artifact. 
I guess they could cast patches. Okay, what's this? Four mana. Chalice for two. Oh, okay. So they drew a chalice, but it's for two. So that's fine, because we have Cavern of Souls. Yeah, as long as they don't also play a, ca a chalice for one. But Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, Shadow Spear. They can't equip. Okay, so I take the four that I sort of calculated with taken. We we play the um, we play the the one ring. I guess if they force here and I veil, that kind of messes up my 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 card math here. So one ring draws one, draw step draws one, and then one ring draws two. So I think I actually have to like veil face up. Um, so now they either have to force this, or and then it doesn't matter. Then the force is gone or. Okay, so what gets us here? Um, this does it. This says creatures permanent your opponent's control lose hex proof, proof and indestructible. But I don't. Um, I I guess it doesn't matter because what I'm gaining is protection from everything anyway. So I guess I didn't. This didn't need to be Edge of Autumn. This could have been a second days. Although I mean days is not doing anything here. So they get to draw. Then I lose a life. I drop to one. And then. We draw the last two cards. One of them is a Cavern of Souls. That's what I always say, kids. You should always have a Cavern when your opponent is a Chalice of the Void, void deck. It's kind of not important here because we would have it anyways because it's a Force of Will deck. But like sometimes, I don't know, like uh, Stompy decks uh, get the Gall, have the Gall to, to like make a Chalice for two. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the the pernicious deed here. That would have been that would be, would have been great. I like these uh, draw punishers, and I guess I kind of like dismember as well. Maybe more so than plow because of chalice. This is a lot of stuff to bring in. I don't know. Um, so the the problem with with like. Bowmasters and Shouldred versus this, this deck is it, that they're an Ursa Saga deck and it can just sort of run out of hand or get out of hand um, pretty quickly. I, I cut the LED, I cut the Consider. Mm. Maybe that means I'm supposed to also cut like one or both of the last two sh cyclers. Teferi is, I think, a little bit you know, hot, hot or cold here. Like, if, if there's a big fight and there's been an Ursa Saga and there's, like, then one removal spell plus a Teferi clears the two constructs, which is kind of nice. I think maybe we cut the Thoughtseize. And, um... Maybe, like, one Lauren re Revealed and one... My logic about cutting Lauren Revealed is basically to not, like, um gonna keep this by the way is that when i'm not up against the wasteland deck then i sometimes it feels like something i'd, I'd want to do patchwork automaton do we put them to the force test here oh we do we drew possibly the best draw in our deck so we put doomsday on the stack they have force and it's pitching emery and i veil so do they have the second force they do not okay cool all right, well, we're going to be at 9, facing down a currently 1-1, one, one, but who knows how big it's going to be. So I think I want uh, Edge of Autumn. We already have the Cavern, which is nice. Um, is this something that can't be blocked? Oh, it can be blocked. Okay, so maybe I even want, like, Bowmasters just to gum up the ground. I want Tundra just to actually be able to bounce something like a Torpor Orb or some something silly. I guess in that case, maybe like having Boseju is better and then Tundra being Trop instead. But then I need to also draw the Boseju. I don't know. Do we want like Lotus Petal here? I am slightly concerned that I'll be passing twice now. So I'll pass a turn now. Then I'll take some combat damage. Then I'll play Polluted Delta. And then I'll have to pass a turn again. I guess I could actually know. I, I, can, I, can make, I can play the Bowmasters, huh? How about that? So I play Bowmasters, in which case I think I think Petal needs to be like a Ponder. Oops. Um, 
just to be able to, because we're going to be shuffling the deck, right? So I draw Bowmasters, and then I shuffle. There's no Tundra left in the deck, so the deck is Ponder, Tha Thassa, and Edge. And I'll draw one of them blind. Okay, so Tundra on the bottom, and then, um, like, Thassa, Ponder, Bowmasters. And let's pass. Let's -a go! So how many artifacts are in that hand? Okay, there's a Saga. So I think that's going to be a turn two slow, but you'll, you, you never know. Okay, so patches and uh, another one. Yikes. Okay, so I don't know. Let's hope that's still going to be good enough, the, the Bowmaster plan here. Especially if they don't blow the... I guess it doesn't matter if they pop the, the bobble now or not. Okay, they do. They see Bowmasters. So fortunately... Unless they drew, blue, like, force blue card, or drew into that, um, this should mean that we get to put a Thassa through the cavern next turn. Um, I guess it's not a guarantee. Like, they could hit... Like, if, if what I draw is Ponder, or Edge into the Ponder, I guess it doesn't matter if, if they can just counter here. Okay, but they couldn't. But yeah, like, if they're able to counter the Ponder... Um, then it's no, no bueno. Let's see what was pitched to the force. Emery was pitched. Okay, Bobble, Bobblicious. Okay, so they attack us for f that much. I suppose if I block here, I think I only block one of them. Because then if they pop the Bobble, I get another chump blocker. I don't know, maybe that was dumb. So now they get to... Uh, hang on, this was an Urza's Bobble. Yeah, they didn't... I revealed the cavern. Yeah, they didn't know the Bowmasters was coming. Okay, now they know what I'm drawing. I know what I'm drawing in a second. I'm gonna ping them, get another fresh blocker. They're gonna uh, be able to, like, patch us here, or, or, like, make a construct here. So... If they have a removal spell, is the thing. What could they have? They could play play Dismember. Uh, I'm not sure they would bring that in versus us. Other than that, it's like Spellbomb, but that's obviously not in play. I think I have to go for it now. I don't think I can allow this Saga to pop. Um, plus, I don't think we have any any good blockers for the, th for the Construct. So, let's just uh, hope they don't play or don't have removal right now. And if not, if they do, we'll, we'll have to go to game number three. All right, sweet, we got there. Okay, so rallied. Uh, let's see if we can get a positive record on the play for round number five. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this. It's not the perfect hand, but it is uh, does offer offer some things. Offers protection versus grief, thought sees, that sort of thing. Has basically both sort of engine cards. It's another ancient tomb deck. Huh. Oh, what's this? Name sticker goblin. I really don't want to lose this brainstorm, but I also really don't want to like deal with the goblins here. All right, I'm gonna let this resolve and then hope that they only cast one more thing here. Oh, they got the full six mana. Uh, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit, as they say. I'm gonna brainstorm here. It's so risky though, right? Like, if I miss, I have to force pitching Thassa, which then means I have two win conditions left, which are, like, the two Street Wraith versus, the like, the Fast Creature deck. We kind of got rewarded. Well, not rewarded per se, but, like, uh, at least not KO'd. But this is bad. Um, yeah, this is really bad. Let's hope that our opponent can't do a lot. Um, um, we'll, we'll be drawing all of these cards. Okay. And I guess I will pass. Let's see how, how bad it looks. What's this? Oh, they had another Spirit Guide. Gross. Rabble Master. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so I draw the second, the One Ring now. I'm at 15. Then next turn, I take two, four, six, eight damage if nothing else happens I'm at seven and then I'm dead 
So whatever I draw off the top of my deck, it has to be pretty good. It has to be a brainstorm, I think. And then even then we're like hoping and praying for miracles. Oh, six. I guess I miscounted. Oh, yeah, because it gets a plus from the name Stereo Goblin, too. They have a chalice here, it looks like. Yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, let's see what we, we're going to draw. What have I showed them here? I haven't showed them Doomsday. I don't, I'm not going to cycle the, the Edge of Autumn. Uh, let's just concede. So I guess what would a brain, I can, no, never mind. They had the chalice. Um, okay. All right. We want the Dismembers and the Boseju. I think we kind of board like versus, like a Boris initiative here. Um, not sure about the forces of negation. It's like they could have Blood Moon. They have Chalice, so it's like, well, there's Chalice, but then like their creatures, this doesn't line up well with. Maybe one Plow. So let's see here. We cut the Veil of Summer. I think we cut to Fairy. Um, is having like a Thoughtseize better than uh, a second Plow? Or is having like, um, I think actually I like I like a plow over second plow over third days. If days it seems really weak here, um, like first of all with with uh, cavern of souls of course, but also just because of like spirit guides, it's it's not nice. Wow, this is such a pensive hand. I don't like. I am going to hate myself to bits if I mulligan this and then get, like, uh, no, a no-lander or something. So I think I'm just going to keep, but I really don't like this very much. And the opponent keeps seven. I'm going to start off by cycling Street Wraith. We just draw another land. Lovely. Well, let's see. Let's uh, see how bad it gets. Ancient Tomb. Looks like a chalice. I am going to brainstorm first. Um, let's put away a brainstorm and underground sea. And let's daze here. Let's see if we get that, that, uh, Simeon Spirit Guide punish. Long pause. Okay. So that just resolved. That was nice. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me. Let's pass here. I don't hate the dismember because, like, it could even snag a random goblin here, that, and that might be relevant. Like, if they go name sticker goblin, we can kill the... the ki kill it. Ooh, Trinisphere. That is kind of scary. Do I brainstorm here and get brainstorm locked? Uh, gosh, I don't know. I think I do. I think I fetch, um... Like, Tropical Island here, in case we... We get a hold of, uh, Boseju. That's, that's okay. Like, obviously the Trinisphere is not great for us and they can wreak havoc next turn um but like we aren't a million miles away from like starting to operate under that trinosphere do kind of wish i had not gotten the tropical island though all right let's see how much trouble they can do goblin ringleader okay so what do they reveal battle cry and muxus okay Okay, the ringleader takes us to 15. Um, so if they have, if they have like another soul land or just land spirit guide, they can just mux us. It doesn't have haste on its own. So I wonder if I'm supposed to, I think it's between like just casting a ponder right now and then like hoping to fade them or like hoping to dismember on their next turn and that that leaves them with not a lot it's not looking good though i think i'm actually going to pass and keep open dismember and then hope to top deck like a, a black land yeah that three ball had the soul land okay oh i forgot i completely forgot i thought this was on attack oh crap <laughs> okay i think i just i lose now i'm not sure like I couldn't have, I think, really done anything anyways, right? Because if I ponder, then I'm tapped out under the, the three ball and Muxa still happens. Um, okay, what was revealed? 
just a bunch of crap. And they're all have, getting haste from uh, this chieftain. So if I if I dismember the chieftain, they don't have haste, except the bombardiers, broadside bombardiers do. And they attack with uh, the two sort of with built-in haste. And they deal me three. I guess the chieftain's gone. So it's like two, four, six, and then they fling moxes at me for another eight. So that's 14. I'm, I'm, I'm in one. Yeah. G, freaking G. All right. So, I mean... This was obviously a, a little bit of a disappointing uh, outing. Two, three is not, uh, it's not great, but that happens. And I feel like, um, so the losses we took were twice against a tempo deck where I think in at least one of those matches, I don't think things would have had to go very differently for us to win that. Uh, I feel like I, I, I got, I got dealt a rough hand, uh, so to speak. Um, but you know, not not trying to like cower away from the fact that the it's a difficult matchup, and and you know, uh, opponents play well, they draw well, you know, it happens. You 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 lose there sometimes, um, and then losing to the goblins matchup here at the end. I don't know. I'm I'm continuously sort of feeling up and then down and then up and then down about that matchup, um, but it is certainly extremely potent and linear and. I really like the inclusion of Trinisphere in that deck. I don't know, maybe it's been there from the from day one. I've just not seen it, but because of how basically all of their spells are three or above. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like that we beat the eight cast deck. That was some cool matches, and there were some like I I really just enjoy the tempo matches to be honest. Even the ones I lost, I thought we had some really good uh, sort of back and forth, and I think it's an interesting matchup. And just like as and like as an anecdote or whatever i've i've been i've been trying to to work out like what triggers me as as a magic player and as i guess on a personal level um this is going to get a bit sort of uh inward gazing so you know if you don't want to hear that then shy away now but you know like how you re react when you lose a game of magic how like some people sit and stew some people just you know shrug their shoulders and, and or you know move on i think i think i'm definitely closer to the first stereotype than the second i really try not to be a sore loser or sit and, and be grouchy or whatever and but but i do sometimes feel like especially like when i've just lost i i i i, I kind of need just a little bit of, of space for myself but that's in paper and like on magic online i find myself sort of narrating an inner monologue or whatever sometimes and like I can, I can get just this inner voice can get a little bit angry about like whatever I lose. Like sometimes when I lose to something, I find that I very, very rarely get upset or like frustrated when I lose to a tempo deck. It's mostly when I lose to like stompy decks, um, or like those what I think back in the day we would call glass cannon combo decks. It used to be like Belcher, and then it was like Oops All Spells, but and now it's still loops all spells, but it's also like uh, I guess that that creative technique kind of, that kind of falls under that. Yeah, I think I'm just I'm 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 starting to appreciate that maybe I'm that's what I need to work on. Like I don't like because you shouldn't you shouldn't be upset about losing. Uh, at least not to the point where it sort of affects you, or that would at least be very nice. Um, obviously, you know, if you care about something, it's that's you know, it will affect you to a point. But yeah, I don't know. I just think that um, I don't know. Maybe some of you have the same uh, experiences or different experiences. I'd love to hear about that because I think it's it's quite interesting, um, and it is something I like on a personal level. I would love to sort of grow as a as a human being to to not sort of get get all flustered about losing. Uh, in magic so yeah how do you cope with losing and what sets you off how do you deal with it do you ever feel like um there's diff like it depends on on what deck you lose to or doesn't that matter at all like losing is losing anyways maybe that's a you know a talk uh, or a topic for a different day or a different sort of forum but um
I'd love to, to, to read some feedback. All right. I want to thank you for sticking out all the way through this, and I will be back with some more Legacy. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.